Hi everybody, I'm Kirsty Meekin from Nail Nails. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the braided fishtail, but we're going to do it in rainbow colours, and we're actually going to use striping tape this time instead of that other fancy holographic tape. This is all inspired by a mermaid's tail. <laughs> So I have a selection of striping tape. I don't know if you can see all those colours. So we've got silver, gold, green, light blue, dark blue, pink and red. And that's the colour order I'm going to do them in. I know a few people that have tried this and I know it's a bit of a pig, especially with striping tape because it's like you know you lose the end of the cell tape this is just the same you lose the end of it and you want to throw it through the window so what i'm going to do is cut off some lengths oh look i'm going to lose it straight away <laughs> i'm going to cut off four of each color so here we are, I have my little, it looks like a little Christmas decoration. <laughs> or a very sparkly spider. Well, okay, I suppose spiders only have eight, eight legs. legs. So we have a, is this clip now clean? Shall we just double check and give this a little wipe over with some acetone? I want it to be nice and clean. I've already got a stiletto nail. And we use natural beige. That's perfect for a background cover. We're going to do it on the tip. We're not going to do a full nail. We're going to do it on the tip, just because I think that'll look kind of cool and we haven't done that on camera. I'm going to start with the silver. I'm going to start at where the natural nail will start growing out. So where the nail finishes. The natural nail, that is. Yeah. And we don't want this to go all the way across like that because we would bulk out the sides. We just want it to overlap the middle slightly. Let's get a small pair of scissors. What's up with these? Will that not do it? No. No, it'll pull it. Here. Yes. Just don't do it to the end because it ain't close. So. This first part is quite important to get Perfect. So this will be the trickiest part. Ah! It is more difficult to do with strapping tape that's on a roll. It's a lot finer than the product we've used in a previous video. So you want them to overlap, like so. I'm going to do two rows of each colour. And we're going to go from left to right. So now we're back to the left. Take it back now, y'all. You can't just do one side and then move on to the other side. By that I mean you can't do all the left side and then do all the right side. You won't get the braid down the middle. They need to keep overlapping. So the left is going to overlap the right and keep going and going and going and going. Just like a plant. You can plant, can't you? So I've moved on to the gold. Yeah, this is where Adam is now going to fast forward this with a little bit of funky music because 
this takes a while so I just want you to not be bored out of your tiny minds and you can just watch me in fast time putting all the different colours on so I'm going to do my next row of gold and here we go with the fast forwarding <laughs> the red metallic now right on the very tip I'm going to let that cure and then we'll seal all the nail in with the top coat I'm going to seal this in with the urban graffiti top coat going to go right to the edges and I know what you're thinking some of that's overlapping yes it is we're not going to file that off until all this is cured because the gel will hold it down put that in The pieces that are hanging over, I'm going to get some cuticle nippers and start to cut that away. Now you're going to get a file and then don't go up, it's coming down towards the desk to file off the excess. The reason you're not going up because you don't want to disturb any of the tape. It's fiddly enough as it is, you don't want to be messing it up right about now. Once you're happy with that, we are then going to seal that again. because I can feel some of the tape still. I'm just dusting off the dust. I don't want to wipe it with anything. I don't want to like do anything to it just yet. You can also use Mega Gloss for this as well. Now you need to make sure that you are capping all of that edge. That will prevent the tape from lifting at the sides. I'm just going to finish the nail off with some cuticle oil. And that is just beautiful. 
check out how crazy it goes when you move it. I love that. It's like a mermaid's tail. There you are, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that mermaid tail inspired design. Don't forget, all the product reviews today are in the description box below. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And guess what? I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.